Garbage men, woman of the world. What's the best, worst thing you have found, thrown away? Oh man, my time to shine. I've been working at a waste transfer station, garbage dump, for many years. The worst I've seen, just garbage, not counting stuff brought to the hazmat department, a freezer stuffed with a skinned, rotting, headless deer carcass. We nearly called the cops before we realized it wasn't human. Used needles. The worst being a tie between porcupine couch and the lady who literally handed me a paper bag full of syringes she found during a park cleanup. Large container of old crystallized picric acid. Bomb squad had to deal with that one. The best, a high-end laptop in perfect condition except for a tiny crack on the LCD panel. Easy DIY repair that took $40 and 5 minutes, thing would have cost $1.5,000 new, enough brand new furniture to literally furnish my whole apartment, a high-end military-grade inflatable boat, brand new the weirdest, a first-gen platelet counting machine, complete with weird tubes of bright green liquid and mercury. When I was prepping it for hazmat disposal I had to call the company that bought the company that made it for some info. They never digitized the records but the oldest repair tech still working was super excited because he remembered servicing them 50 years ago. Coffin. No body, just the coffin. Couldn't see anything wrong with it either. Buckets of testicles from a ranch that had been sitting out in the summer heat for a week. Smelled so bad my coworker hurled. That's not the weird part, the weird part is the guys asterisk wanted their buckets back, asterisk. Do you know how bad it has to smell to make a garbage collector puke? And they wanted them back? The $10,000 duffel bag. Lady came in super upset because earlier she threw out a duffel bag that she didn't know her boyfriend kept cash in. Over $10,000 in cash. We never found the bag. 16 full-size barrels of old vegetable grease some guy had saved up in his garage. He was planning to make a biodiesel car or something. Edit, a lot of people are asking if we get to keep stuff. Officially, no. It's not against the law as far as I know, except for illegal stuff like drugs, but it's against our policy. However workers do salvage things, as long as it's discreet and they're not selling it, management doesn't get involved. Selling stuff is a big no. We don't fight over stuff. In fact we'll keep an eye out for things colleagues might need. Most of what we salvage is actually tools and stuff we use at the dump. I've also started a management-approved program to give away free household products that would otherwise be hazardous waste paint, oil, cleaners, etc. Some dumps also run thrift stores to divert materials from landfill, but we don't have the space. Grew up a small town so everyone knew everyone. Our garbage man, Lee, would regularly cull out items for us because he knew my dad would tinker on them. Lee gave me my first bike, which only needed to be painted, and so so many books. He passed a few years ago. When I saw the notice I called up my sister and we had a bit of a nostalgic cry about what a nice man he was to us kids. That's feed up. My father was a garbage man who also did clean outs for homes and businesses, where they'd rip apart the entire building and throw everything out in their dumpsters. He worked on a ton of really massive houses, some worth tens of millions of dollars, one was worth 40 million and wasn't even the permanent residence. Best things I got as a kid, a pretty much unused trampoline with a net and everything. A go-kart that my dad's friend was able to fix up and we used all the time, I live on a dead end. And once he cleaned out a deli that was closing down, and we no joke had unlimited snapples and sodas of every flavor for almost a year. I'd drink the snapples while out on the trampoline. I used the hell out of all three of those things in my childhood. In the 80s I picked up a number of Philips color TVs. I had a few, so fixing them was just a question of swapping parts. I then sold them cheaply or gave them away to fellow students. Musical notes asterisk we gotta move these color TVs, asterisk musical notes. In the early 2000s my best friend's dad was a garbage man. I used to hang out at their house a lot and I remember him finding uncut sheets of holographic Dragon Ball Z trading cards in the trash and bringing them back. They were super dope to see. I'm not a garbage man, but I once scored a whole custom-built staircase from a dumpster. It was in perfect condition but apparently built to the wrong spec. It worked great for my barn. How the hell do you throw away a staircase? Then how do you get it out into your barn? My friend found a PS4, excellent condition, and a brand new controller still in the box. So mom had enough of her teen's shit. 
My little brother was emptying out a client's basement and everything was going to be thrown away so my brother was told to keep anything he wanted. He saw a nice looking bike and took it. Turns out it was a Daehan Mu P830 Anniversary Limited Edition and in perfect condition. From what I found on it, it goes for over $4,000. $10,000 in a bag and you guys never found the bag, huh? Hmm. Elaine Cedar Chest. I was helping my dad clean out this lady's garage and she said as long as we were there, we might as well take that, too. She said she always hated the smell of cedar but her husband wouldn't let her get rid of it and now that he was dead, she was sending it on its way. The veneer was never in great shape but it still keeps my wool items safe. I've had it for over 30 years now. When I was growing up, my neighbor worked at the local council. One night he knocked on the door trying to rehome a couple of kittens that one of the workers had apparently found at the local tip. All I remember was this absolute giant of a man, normally the most calm and chill person I'd ever met, absolutely seething with anger while holding a tiny ginger and white kitten in one of his hands. My guess is that someone had dropped off a box with them in hoping it wouldn't be noticed, which somehow seems like more of a dick move, and more effort, than just leaving them somewhere public where they might be found by someone, even if you don't want to take them to a shelter. Anyway, as much as I begged and pleaded I wasn't allowed to keep one because my dad claimed allergies. No trash kitty for me. My father was a garbage man when I was born. I don't remember because I was like three months old. But my first dog was in the trash. My dad stopped, picked up a box and heard some shuffling on the inside and there were two puppies. My dad kept one and the driver kept the other. They were brother and sister, my dad assumed. He kept the male and named him Jasper. He was literally my best friend growing up. I had him for 13 years and my dad tells me the job was worth it just for that dog. He called the police and animal control on the residents but doesn't know what happened after that. All I know is I'm 37 and still love that dog so much. I'm so thankful my dad saved him and his sister. Edit, spelling error. I work in animal rescue. It's sickening how many animals get thrown in dumpsters and garbage cans. I'm so glad there are people who find them and take them home or get them to a safe place. Not me but my brother. Someone apparently threw out grandpa's stuff from the attic after he passed away. This was the last scheduled pickup at the house and everything was already moved out, nobody living there. Driving an automated claw to grab and dump truck, my brother was irritated there were these two bowling bags he had to get out to throw in the truck. He realized they seemed a bit heavy, so he opened them to see why. Inside there was real silver silverware, flatware. He ended up selling it for scrap prices to a jeweler and got $3,000. Raises the question of what it was actually worth. In Philly, the students at Penn, especially rich overseas folks, will often leave crazy expensive clothes, electronics, kitchen items and furniture in the trash when the scholastic year is done. Just toss it out. I live near PSU and July and August are dumpster diving Christmas. International students move out and don't know how to sell or donate things. My list of freebies so far, 1, $400 42-inch flat screen 2, $200 carpet shampoo 3, $70 walk 4, LL bean boots 5, giant bean bag. Wife wouldn't let me keep it because bedbug risk, which is fair I guess. 6, so many bicycles. 7, I don't like to dumpster dive food, but there were perfectly packaged canned veggies. Cardboard flats of cans. I did take those. 8, giant restaurant patio umbrella. My dad was a trash man when I was growing up. He would always be bringing cool stuff home to us. He used to always say that the poor neighborhoods had the most trash and they threw away literally everything. The two best ones that I can think of was a brand new BMX bike and like 20 Nintendo 64 games that he found at a video rental store. Also once at the transfer station one of his co-workers found a dummy arm in the big pile of trash. He pulled it and it ended up being a dead guy. The police later determined that it was a homeless person that got picked up and died when the trash truck compacted him.